All right, let's try a question now. Uh, we have a frictionless surface. We have a force of 20 newtons applied as shown. And here's what the two masses are. Big M is 3 kilograms and little m is 2 kilograms. So first, let's find the acceleration of the blocks. Now this isn't that bad. What we need to do is we find net force is ma. The net force is 20. Remember, there's no friction stopping it. And so m, well, is the sum of the two masses, 3 plus 2, which is 5. You don't even need a calculator for this one, times a. That is the f net equals ma for the big picture. 20 is 5a, and the acceleration is 4 meters per second squared. Now hit pause. Make sure you understand how we got that answer. Now we want to find the magnitude of the tension in the string between the blocks. Well, what we want to do is isolate one of the blocks. Remember, the acceleration is 4 meters per second squared. We found that in the previous part of the question. And so we isolate one of the blocks, the easiest one. It only has one force on it. F net equals ma. In this case, T equals ma. And m is 3, and a is 4. And so the tension is 12 newtons. Once again, hit pause and make sure that you understand how we arrived at 12 newtons. Now we will add friction. We'll do the same questions, but with friction. The coefficient of friction is 0.21. So what's the acceleration? Well, this time we need to look at the large picture again. And this time we have friction opposing the 20 newton force that wants to cause the acceleration. Let's find the frictions. Friction is mu mg, mu times the normal force. The normal force in this case is just the weight. So I will write down mu, uh, which is 0.21, times the small mass of 2, times 9.8, and I get 4.116 newtons. Again, Let's try the next mass, mu capital M G. And mu is the same because it's the same surfaces in contact. And we multiply this one out using this time the big mass. And we will get, you should try this by the way yourself just to confirm and see how we get the answers, 6.174 newtons. Now, to find the acceleration, the force that is causing it to move forward is 20, opposing it we have the 4.116 friction 1 minus 6.174 friction 2. That'll tell us the overall force acting on the masses. Remember the tensions cancel each other out. They don't affect the whole system, and they're just acting as connectors there. The total mass is 5, and when I work that out, I will find that this new acceleration now is 1.94 two uh, meters per second squared. And I'm not going to round it off. I need that number when I do the other part of the question, and I need to use the, the longer number. If I someone said, what's the acceleration? Well, I'd give it to two significant figures. And I would say, oh, uh, 1.9. The acceleration is 1.9 meters per second squared. But I'll use the whole number in the calculation. Now what's the tension? Once again, we need to isolate one of the masses. And remember that we've already found an acceleration of, uh, we'll use the whole number, 1.942 meters per second squared. We know that. And we'll need that. We'll isolate that one system and we'll say T minus F2 equals big MA. F net is MA. It's always F net equals MA. And now we work it out. T minus, we already worked out what F2 is, and we write down 6.174 um, newtons, of course, and that equals M, only big mass M there, 3 times the acceleration, and we'll use the longer number, 1.942. When you solve, you will find that the tension equals, do it, take your calculator and confirm this answer, uh, 12 newtons. Make sure that you understand how we got 
the 12 newtons.